Hi, I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn what is volume and how is volume related with capacity. Whenever we say capacity of something, we really mean volume contained in that particular thing, right? So, in general, capacity should be considered as volume a container can hold, right? So, if the question is, what is the capacity of this can, then it really means what volume of liquid can it hold, right? So, that is how they are related. Uh, while we work on volume, there are two particular units which are very popular. One is called milliliters. So, let me write down milliliter, M-I-L-L-I-L-I-T-R-E or liters. So, we have L-I-T-R-E. Remember, this liters could be spelled as L-I-T-R-E or L-I-T-E-R. So, both are correct. So, sometimes you will find one spelling, sometimes the other, but both are the correct spellings of liter, right? So, it could be milliliter, L-I-T-E-R, right? N-D, so, but, but they are the same units. Okay, now milliliters and liters are connected by a factor of 1000, right? So, if I have, let us say, one liter, liter is also written by capital L, and milliliter is written as... Uh, let's say 1 and small m and capital L. That represents milliliter. Now, if I have to convert one to the other, right, so milliliter is much smaller, thousand times smaller than a liter. So, one liter is actually equal to how much milliliters? In that case, if you have to come from liter to milliliter, you have to multiply by thousand, right? So, so, if I say 1 liter, it will be equal to 1000 milliliters. So, that is how you convert, right? So, so we could write 1 liter equals to 1000 milliliters, okay? So, that is how they are related. If we are converting from milliliters to liters, then, then we divide. We divide by 1000 to get from milliliters to liters, right? So, that is how they are related. So, if I say 250 milliliters, then 250 milliliters is 0 0.25 liters. So, that is the kind of relation, right? So, what you do is you divide 250 by 1000 to get conversion to liters. So, that is the kind of conversion, right? Now, you'll be surprised to see how we get a milliliter or liter type of a unit. Now, the alternate way of writing milliliter is cubic centimeter, right? So, we sometimes write milliliter as cubic centimeter and the reason for that is that if I have a cube whose dimensions are one centimeter each, let us say this is our cube and the dimensions of this cube are one centimeter each that is to say one centimeter length one centimeter width and one centimeter height in that case the capacity of the cube is one milliliter right so so one milliliter is also equal to so we can say one milliliter is equals to one cubic centimeter I mean I mean cubic, right? So, cubic centimeters. So, basically, you'll see volume is a cubic unit, right? So, whenever you're talking about volume, it is always cubic. So, in this case, cubic centimeter, right? Let me write T-E-R this time. Okay. So, that part, milliliter, we understand, is same as one cubic centimeter. The reason is, if I have a cube of one centimeter each dimension, then the capacity which it can hold is one milliliter. Now, what is one liter? So, what size of cube will give you one liter capacity? So, that cube actually works out to be the cube whose dimensions are, can you guess what? So, whose dimensions are 10 centimeters, okay? So, whose dimensions are 10 times? So, that cube which I have drawn here, 
whose dimensions are let us say 10 centimeters by 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter this tube has a capacity of 1 liter do you see so from here if you multiply 3 tenths you get 1000 so what you can write is that 1000 centimeter cube is equals to 1 liter correct and that also confirms the unit 1 milliliter is 1 centimeter cube 1000 centimeter cube is 1 liter that means 1000 milliliter equals to 1 liter that is perfect correct so so that is how liters and milliliters are connected and you can see how uh, what size of cube will contain 1 liter so that is 10 centimeters so alternate name for 10 centimeter is what can you tell me it is decimeter right so it is also said at times that one liter is one deci meter cube right so since one decimeter is 10 centimeters what is 10 centimeters it is one decimeter so some students know about decimeters some don't but 10 centimeters is one decimeters so one liter is also one cubic decimeter so that is an alternate name so let me write down all the names for liter now which we have learned so one is cubic decimeter right so decimeter so that is that is another name for one liter so cubic decimeter is 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 equals to one liter correct or it is thousand centimeter cube so that is how these things are related now with this we understand that capacity of any container is actually volume contained in that container and this volume normally we measure in milliliters or in liters milliliters is same as one centimeter cube that means a cube with dimensions of one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter will hold one milliliter of the liquid or or air you even right a fluid or the material on the other hand one liter is one decimeter cube that means 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters so 10 times 10 times 10 gives you 1000 and therefore 1000 milliliter is one liter or you can say one milliliter is one thousandth of a liter so with that let's move on and uh, meanwhile you try to figure out some things which could contain volume in milliliters or could contain volume in liters so let that be the exercise for you thank you and all the best